friend of mine who's a big, uh, he does graphics and all kinds of things. I was in his office a while back and he said, Paul, look at this trailer for Spider-Man 3. So it was like a 40 second trailer of Spider-Man 3. And he clicked that thing on, and I mean for like 40 seconds. I mean, I was being bombarded by everything you could possibly... I mean, it was really amazing. It was just get your heart going and all these things this guy could do, and it was just absolutely phenomenal. And when it's finished, I was almost wore out. And then I thought about it. How could a kid watch this unrealistic thing and then... A appreciate walking through a wood with his father. I mean, something is being put before our minds that's totally unrealistic. It is a lie. It's a lie about reality. Many of you are not happy with what you've got because you don't have what you see on TV and you don't realize that what's on TV is a lie. Life's not supposed to be like that. So it's not just the thing you see some things that are pornographic, but your whole world view is just warped. To be happy, you must be like this. To be happy, you must be like them. To be happy, this must happen in your life. And because it doesn't, in real life, people get old, they get ugly, they get sick, things fall apart, things don't work right. And then you walk around disgusted because your life's not like everyone else's when in fact your life is just like everyone else's. It's just you're believing a lie. You see, don't think that false prophets are just those weird people who knock on your door with suitcases. The greatest false prophets on the face of the earth. The network. The network. And it's so our mind. We've got to think about our mind. It's not just what do we put in our mind. It's what do we keep out of it. So that we can be pure. And purity is not this pietistic, Catholic, separatist thing. I'm talking about pure so that you can love your wife madly. I'm talking about pure so that you can wrestle and run with your children. I'm talking about pure so that you can laugh with all the fullness of your heart. Not religion. Not stifling, sick religion, but life.